Hello, this is another Aviso 9.0 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will cover 4.2 to 4.2.0.2. So this is the cell analyst tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to use the hysterious thresholding and a watershed transform. We will also learn a very essential combo of modules. So what we're going to do is we go to tutorials, multi-comp, and then we open cell bodies. So this is... So what we're going to do with cell bodies is we're going to take it and we want to extract data from it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're first going to add a hysterious thresholding. So I'm sorry if I pronounce any of these things wrong. The next, so we're going to, how this differs from a regular thresholding is, unlike a regular thresholding, there's two values. The value is used to find the bright spots, and then it, it expands it until it reaches the lower value. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to have this be 70 and 112. This is straight from the Visa user guide. So we just click apply, and then we're going to use the color wash module to display it and we can see the difference so I just want you to notice right here how there's parts that are not highlighted but are part of the cell so how we're going to fix this is we're going to use a very commonly used formula module process so first thing is it's called dilation fill holes and then erode so the first thing we want to do is we want to dilate it so just click up apply after we change the size to 1. Then once we have dilated it, we want to fill it, fill holes, and we want to change this to 3D. And then, after that, we want to erode it. And we also want to change this to 1. So just a few things to notice. So, from the dilation, what this does is it grows each of these and one thing to notice is size needs to be one it can be greater than one but then this size also needs to be the same so I'm going to use the color wash module to show you the difference between each of these steps now so see it grows too much then we fill the holes and then we erode it back to its regular back to the size we need so there are a few spots where we could add more, but I'm just going to not do that today, and I'm going to move on to the next step. Hierarchical watershed. But before we do that, we need to attach a distance map. So what this distance map module does is it color codes each of these. So with this inside selected, Inside, the inside of each cell is the greatest number, and until you go to the outside of it, which is zero. So the difference between chamfer and Euclid is Euclid uses a more advanced algorithm, but takes longer, and chamfer uses a much quicker algorithm, but is less accurate. So we're just going to use chamfer and float, and then once we have that, we're going to go here, and we're going to go to arithmetic so what we're going to type in is we're going to do negative a plus 6.82 and just press apply so what this result is English gives us a depth filled view of all of this with black being the center and going out till it's perfectly white then we're going to use the hierarchical watershed which is a watershed transform. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to 0.5 and 1.75. So I just I take these values directly from the user guide, but you guys probably will want to experiment when you're coming to your own data sets because it will be different. So we just click apply. And now we have this, and we can display it with an ortho slice. And as you see, each of these are a completely different 
color and material. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another Aviso 9.0 tutorial. If you like this video, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another Aviso 9.0 tutorial. If you like this video, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button so you get notified when a new one comes out. Thanks so much.